everybody, it's Colette with Blessings Craft Therapy with another project. Friends, let's make a super cool, like nautical themed coaster out of this stuff. All right, so I went to Hobby Lobby and I got this chalk paint. It's patina. And I'm using a, um, this is a terracotta pot saucer that I got at Michael's. And we're going to, this is such an easy project, friends. You're gonna, you're not even gonna believe it. It's so easy. Um, I paint the saucer with the patina chalk paint, okay? Paint it really, you know, I mean, obviously, go really good on the inside and outside and let it dry really well and then I sanded it and oh my goodness I okay listen if you don't like the primitive distress vibe you probably won't like this but for my primitive distressing love people oh look at how cool and the more you sand it the better it gets I love it I just love it so much um now listen if you're really weirded out about it needing to be waterproof, then I would, once you're done sanding and wiping it down, I would actually do a coat of, you know, something that makes it waterproof, whether it's dishwasher safe Mod Podge or Crystalac or anything like that. But I didn't because I'm okay with it. <laughs> I'm okay with it. I like it. I didn't want it to change. I didn't want it to get any glossiness. Um, but see how I just kept sanding. Oh, I love it. All right. So now I have some nautical rope I had gotten from Dollar Tree. And again, this is the smaller one. This isn't the huge, huge thick one. And see how I kind of folded it in half. I glued it and kind of folded. I, I was trying, I'm trying to hide that end. So see how I did that. And now we're going to just start wrapping it around itself. We're going to be and I keep trying to pull that. See, I'm just putting that behind all of the um, the other rope that we're going to wind it around. Does that make sense? I know sometimes words are hard for me. <laughs> but see, and then I put more glue and then we're going to just keep wrapping it around and see how it got all of that um, frayed stuff is on the back. Now I measure the back just to see what the inside diameter I'm going to need. And it's about three inches. So I just start putting glue and then wrap glue and then wrap we're making it we're making a coaster so easy peasy we're just going to keep doing that I found it easiest once you got it to this size then I just started putting it on the actual um instead of putting it on the free end I put it on that and I actually used a, a mat to do it because it just was so much easier that's just me though if it's easier to hold it you know and I check the size you know I keep measuring it making sure that I'm not over three inches now listen you could do the entirety of the inside of that terracotta saucer but um, I found that it doesn't fit a chunky mug so and at the end of that you're just going to you know cut the end and I cut it at an angle so that I can hide the strings and then um, I put some glue on the back and again I'm just using hot glue you can use E6000 if you wanted if you're not allergic <laughs> I am so you know there you go but then we're gonna put that on the inside and are you kidding me look at how cute this is are you oh my gosh and I pressed it down I really press it down so that the fibers can really kind of spread out but look at how cool this is this is what it looks like with nothing on it. You could do it with regular jute too. And this is my chunky mug just to prove that you can put a chunky mug on it. The one in the back, I didn't do anything to the coaster. Um, I just put regular jute and you'll see I can put a wine glass on it, but I couldn't put a mug on it. So just for your information, right? Okay, friends, thanks so much for watching and I hope this inspires you. Mm -hmm.